Hey, good evening, Mogul Chicks. It is I, Adrian Graham, CEO and founder of Mogul Chicks. And I have some news. Last year, I debuted the Mogul Chicks Beauty Business Bootcamp and got great response to it. And I am bringing it back. It's coming May 4th. This is going to be a one day, all you can get intensive that I am putting on specifically for those of you who are in the beauty business, the nail business, the hair business, the esthetician business, the salon business, uh, barber business for some of you, uh, did I say nails? All of that beauty stuff, everything, makeup, cosmetics, everything beauty. We are looking at new frontiers, you know, new retail concepts and technologies are changing the way the beauty products are created, marketing, purchased, and used. From Michelle Fan to Pat McGrath, I know you guys have heard of them. Savvy businesswomen have been making strides, huge strides in the beauty game. Now, I see a lot of people that are on Instagram and on Facebook and all of these Twitter and everything, uh, Snapchat and TikTok or whatever, doing makeup tutorials and lamenting about wanting to start their own line and even some that have started their own businesses. And they're still kind of in that independent status where it's like them and maybe a couple of assistants or maybe them and maybe one or two other salon stylists or makeup artists or whatever. But listen, if Michelle Fan can grow a billion dollar, multi-million dollar, excuse me, multi-million dollar company. If Pat McGrath can grow a billion dollar company, you know, come on guys, something had to be, had to have been different for them. You know, you can't say luck. You can't say timing. They put the work in. They made sure that they grew companies, scalable growing companies. Now you guys have heard me say it a lot of times. There's a difference between having a business and running a company. Having a business is where we are in COVID-19 land right now, where people are panicking that they have to open up or they can't get to their clients or they're losing out money. Growing a company ensures that you have a team in place, a process, a system, procedures and policies, a foundation, so that if you as a CEO can't work or don't work, you don't miss a beat because guess what? You're still making money. So I want you to come, you know, I, I don't care. I don't I don't want you to think, oh, I'm just dabbling in, in makeup or I'm just dabbling in the industry. I'm doing this as a side gig. If you really, really, really want to build some staying power in the industry, if you really want to build a company that you can grow and leave to your children and your grandchildren and future generations, if you want to grow and build a household name, if you want to be the next Michelle Fan or Pat McGrath, um, I was going to use another person's name, but when you come from a celebrity family and you have money already, that's not the same as building a business. I mean, she built a business, but let's not, I'm not going to get into semantics here. So we're talking about the average people like you and I who are building companies. So join us, join me for this beauty, beauty mogul event. It's the Mobile Chicks Beauty Business Bootcamp. It's $799. It's an all day event. You get to pick my brain. I give you tons of information. I sit down with each of you and we workshop a plan. We workshop a strategy, you know, and this is, you know, close to advisory as you're going to get at this point. It's going to go down Tuesday, May 4th. We start at 10 a.m. And I didn't put it in time because usually when I do boot camps and when I do workshops, if I say from this time to this time, chances are we go over. So if you want to take the benefit, get the benefit of my wisdom from the years, if you want to hear about strategies to make your business grow, how to make your company have staying power, uh, if you want to learn about additional streams of revenue, if you want to uh, talk about building an effective team to boost your bottom line, if you want to identify primary, secondary, and tertiary customers within your niche, because trust me, there's more. A lot of people don't, they overlook those secondary and, and, and third level markets where you can be tapping in and making some money. Uh, ways to boost cash flow, um, especially if you're cash strapped at the moment, and especially if you are caught up in all this COVID-19 and the quarantine and everything. And just a side note, I pray for you people in Georgia and these other states that are opening up and, and testing out salons and nails. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
don't do it. There are other ways to make money, guys. You can, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I wish I could just share some stuff with you now and that you just have faith in it, but it is more to what than what you have going on. Um, understanding a sustainable growth rate and how to keep it going. Uh, best sources for capital to fuel your growth. Capital is a big, big conversation that we have, especially as women in business. And that's across the board in any industry. So we're going to talk about that, delve into that a little bit. Keep your finger on the pulse of consumer trends and avoiding becoming obsolete. Using technology to extend your reach and your offerings and automate your, your workflow. Uh, forward planning and the change dealing with the change in the retail landscape, getting in the retail landscape, implementing the most important systems to keep your business operating, even when you're not working, creating the ultimate customer experience, because I mean, come on, you guys are full on, very, you know, hands on, people centric businesses. So yeah, you want to create a top customer experience, establishing yourself as the go to brand, uh, positioning yourself to go from business owner or freelancer to a CEO running a company. You guys know that's what I talk about all the time. Be a CEO of your company. Don't just own a business. Be a CEO, a mogul chick. Uh, getting products on major shows, creating strong partnerships for a win-win relationship, setting and meeting revenue goals, growth goals, professional goals, and there's going to be so much more. So topics are going to be how to legally protect your brand, your work, your products, your company, uh, your financial goals, and your money moves. Because what I always say, mogul chicks make money. We make mogul moves and power plays is what we do. Uh, maximizing your business model for profitability, you know, sitting back and waiting for clients to come to you or just taking one off clients or even renting a, a booth in a shop. Yeah, you'll make some money, you'll pay your bills, you'll be comfortable, you'll be okay, but will you be a mogul? Um, hiring the right team, you guys need to, mm, and firing when necessary. Sometimes y'all hold on to people a lot longer than you should. And I know, cause I have been, guilty of that. But luckily for me, I come from a recruiting background from my previous life and I knew how to hire people. And I never really had that many problems. I had maybe one real problem, but I've hired great people. Um, building a digital platform that makes dollars and cents. And no, I'm not talking about getting Instagram followers or, or building your Facebook group. And all. That's all cool. That's not who I am. I build businesses. I don't build social media followings. Um, Strategic growth and scalability. And if it looks like I'm looking off to the side, I am because I'm trying to read my notes because all of this is so much. I can't remember everything. Um, building the ultimate customer experience. We talked about product and service optimization. I know some of you have products in you. We're not going to get into that right now. Maximizing partnerships, alliances, and relationships. Uh, forward planning, vision, and legacy. legacy. And guess what? Exit strategies. A lot of y'all, we don't talk about exit strategy strategies because we think when we grow our companies that that's something that we're going to take to the grave. Listen, you know how many people have sold out to L'Oreal and to, who was the latest one to, to sell? Uh, Shea Moisture uh, sold their company to Unilever, was it? For what, damn near a billion dollars? And then turned around and created a $100 million fund for women of color? <sighs> Listen, you can take your art, your craft, your skill to high levels, but there has to always be a next level and there has to always be an end game. Whether that's passing the company down through generations or selling it so you could take that money and put it back into making something even bigger and stronger, that you, we got to think about exit strategies and forward planning. Um, negotiating from a place of strength and confidence because let me tell you something these people that get into major stores and get into with these these major cosmetic companies and hair care companies and everything they had to negotiate you didn't just walk up and see hey i saw you on twitter can we make a deal let me hey got this product i think you guys should buy no nah, it takes skill and it takes patience to negotiate and it takes a cool demeanor to learn how to negotiate and we're going to talk about negotiation strategies in there uh, getting the right investment dollars. We complain people in general, I don't mean us women, people complain about not being able to get funded. There's plenty of money out there, but let's look at it from this perspective. If you, I'm wearing one earring, ain't that something? If you are an investor and you have someone come up to you with a pitch or a business idea and it doesn't make sense to you or they're not making any money 
or they seem kind of green and like they, they're not going to be able to take the company anywhere. What motivates you to put your money into this company? That's the same thing investors think. They want to make sure that they're not doing this for charity. They're doing this because they believe in you. They believe in your company. They believe in your product or service. And they know that it's going to grow exponentially with their money. And they're going to get a return. Nobody, it, mm, it's not the same as going for a bank loan. So we're going to talk about the funding part of it. And, you know, talk about real estate moves, too, because I firmly believe you should own your real estate. But that's a whole other conversation. And then, you know, we'll sit back. We'll measure your success met, uh, metrics. We'll talk about what your goals are. We'll talk about things that you can do in general to grow your company. Now, this is for beauty companies, beauty business, uh, hair, nails, makeup, uh, uh, estheticians, barbers, um, cosmetic companies, makeup artists, anything in the beauty industry, if you, that's what you fall under, you are welcome to come to this. Now, the, the stuff that we talk about on the business side of it, the unsexy side of it is pretty applicable to any kind of business. But this is specifically, this works, this boot camp, excuse me, is going to be for the beauty bosses. So hit me up below or send me a private message or you can tweet me at Talent Viva or you can DM me here uh, if you have any questions. I'm on Instagram, Adrian Graham, or you can hit up Mogul Chicks. Um, and I'm on LinkedIn under my name. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to contact me and let me know your thoughts on that. And if you'd like to see another industry for me to do a boot camp for, let me know. You know, I try to do these things as I get the request. And so far, the beauty business has been the first of all, you guys are booming. I don't know why I'm not in the beauty business, but you know, I, hey, I, maybe you never know. But, you know, I see that a lot of people have a lot of questions and a lot of challenges and a lot of you doubt yourselves. And it pains me to see you doubt yourself because Pat McGrath, billion dollar black woman owned cosmetic company. Michelle Fan, Asian woman, young woman, who started off as a YouTube vlogger doing makeup tutorials, and now she has this incredible company, multi-million dollar company that has expanded into media and subscription boxes and makeup and all this other stuff and a book and every guys, there are opportunities out there for you, but you have to. You have to be, first of all, disciplined and you have to believe in yourself. You got skills, you got talent. Come on, let's take this to, to the next level. Come with me, do this workshop, let's work together. And I will not end that workshop. We're gonna be doing it on Zoom. I will not end that workshop until each and every person has had an opportunity to go through a review with me and we sit down and come out with some strategies for you. Um, I'm not promising that I will get you all set up. That's a whole other thing. And that's consultations and, and fees and advisory is something different. But after that workshop, you'll have a clearer direction of where you need to go to build a better company. So with that said, I'm Adrian Graham and you guys have a wonderful evening. And I hope to see you at this thing, May 4th. 10 a.m. Eastern. It is $799 per person. It'll be on Zoom in our private Zoom room. So it will be very live. So you will be able to interact with myself and your others, other people in the, in the thing. And we're going to have breakout workshops and we're going to have mock pitches, all kind of good stuff. So check it out. Mobilechicks.com slash events to see what I'm talking about and to also see what else we have coming up. So have a good evening. Take care. Bye-bye.